Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I wanted to share this super voluminous, fluffy mermaid hair tutorial with you. I've had so many questions on how I curl my hair ever since my little hair update went a little darker for the fall, and I absolutely love this really pretty girl beachy hair. It's like very PC, a little bit textured, and gives me so much more volume, which I totally need, especially when it's in this sort of like medium long phase, I'm trying to grow it out a little bit more, but I still want a lot of pretty hair moments, you know? Plus, I just don't have a lot of time to spend on my hair. So I want something that has a lot of impact with less time, and I'm telling you, this is just how to do it. I love a clipless curling iron. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to get this pretty mermaid hair. So if you wanna see how it's done, and keep watching. So you're just gonna need a few products to get this hair curling wonderfulness on the road. First of all, I have the super soft scrunchie that I have on my wrist. I have a couple little hair clippy clippies. I have a heat protectant spray and my curling iron I am going to be using is this one right here. It is the Hot Tools Signature Series Gold Flipperless Curling Wand. And I wanna just say a huge shout out and thank you to Hot Tools for sponsoring this video. You make this, it's a fantastic product. This is the one and one quarter inch wand. I absolutely love this size for my hair length and texture. I feel like it's not too big where the curls loosen up too much and it's not too tight where it feels a little too like Shirley Temple like it's just the perfect size but if you like a different curl size this series also comes in a one inch wand and a one and a half inch wand as well we're just gonna turn this on set the temperature this goes up to 430 degrees it's going to be good to go in about 30 seconds while that's heating up I'm just gonna take my little heat protectant spray this one is from in common it's their magic mist I really really love this one usually I apply this while my hair is still wet after a shower because I'm going to be curling my hair right now and want to make sure it's really protected I'm actually going to spray this right now and then what I'm going to do is just separate my hair into sections. I have quite a lot of hair and it helps me to manage it and curl it better and make sure I don't miss any sections. Sometimes I see people doing a whole lot of sectioning of their hair, but honestly, I'm a mom. I don't have time for like doing a bunch of little pin curls all over my head. So this is just what I do. So I just twist it to the point where I can get this all up in a little bun, like a little space bun. And then I take one of these alligator little like claw clips for hair. And this is just going to hold it temporarily. And actually, let me just do that to the other side while we're here. What do you think guys? Do I look like a visco girl? So normcore. So now I got my two lower sections. I'm gonna scrunchy that one. I feel like I'm really having like 90s vibes right now. So I just popped on my little safety heat protecting glove and I like this one in particular because it's not too thick so it doesn't get in the way of what I'm doing. And that's just going to help me in case I accidentally like bump the barrel. It's not gonna burn my hand at all because I don't know about you guys but I've definitely had my fair share of accidents. So the technique I like using is I'm going to always be spinning with my hand that's further away from my head. And I'm gonna pull it over my head so that it's arching down because you always want the tip of the barrel to be pointing away from your head, like the crown of your head, which gives you more ability to spin around it. Let me show you guys what I mean. So we got our section of hair. I'm gonna go over my head like this, and then I'm going to spin this away from the crown of my head. So I only hold this for maybe four or five seconds. Okay, so now that I have my bottom sections, those pieces I don't need to be super tight curls because they just wanna give more volume for the ones sitting on top, but I do like to go through and get them first. So cute. Should I cut myself some bangs like this forever? Okay, so now we're going to take out space bun number one, and then I'm going to start with the bottom pieces, again, to get them done and out of the way and just fling them over my shoulder. Pull it over my head, and then I'm gonna curl away from my face. 
this cord is in front of my face. But at least the curls are coming out nice. Now that we did the basic curls on the first half of our head, I'm just going to push that to the back of my head. So with this nice little piece sectioned a little closer to the front of my head, I'm gonna do a little step by step so you guys can really understand how to use the clipless iron. I like holding it in one hand, holding it over my head, and then in the opposite hand, the one that is further away, that's going to be your curling hand, the one that's gonna do the spinning. So that's the one you want your glove on. Your glove is in the hand holding your hair. So this goes over the top of your head, and then you're just going to spin this away from your head like this, and just hold on to the little end bits. So because it's not being clipped into the actual curling iron, you're not gonna have any dents in your hair. Because you don't have the very ends touching the actual barrel, it gives you the nice, beachy, natural looking curl, just like that. And then on this side, I curled away from my head like this. On this side, I'm curling away from my head like that. So we're gonna get these fake bangs down. So one thing I really like about this iron is it has a really thinner part where you hold it. It's very ergonomically shaped and it's a little bit uh, rubberized, so it's easy to not slip, which is very important with a curling iron, especially when you're doing this kind of motion. So I just hold it there for about four to five seconds. Now I've gotten into a rhythm. It goes by pretty quickly. One more time, taking the curling iron, going over my head, and then I'm spinning it away from my head. Just hold onto the ends right there. You can twist the barrel if you want it a little closer to your head, and then you can just Slide the curl out like that. I've actually been pretty much exclusively been using clipless irons for the last, gosh, maybe four or five years now. I just feel like these kinds of curls look so much prettier than when you have like the perfectly manicured prom curls. Did you guys ever have those like super crunchy, perfect curly Q curls? It's not cute, it's not a good look. So now that we pretty much curled everything once over, we still want a little bit more volume up here at the crown. So I'm going to go over one more time, but I'm just taking sections from the top circle of my head. Let me finger comb my hair first just to kind of blend those curls all together so I can get a better idea of where I still need to curl my hair. What I do is I sort of weave my finger under the top bit of hair and see how it's curled at the end but it could use more curls tighter to the top of the head and that's because when you're curling around like this uh, the sections of hair are longer this way but now we're going to do them so they're more flat this way and then that'll give me a boost just up here where I like more volume. Okay. So now I'm going to do literally the same motion, but I'm doing an extra twist to get it really close to my scalp as much as possible without obviously having it be too hot by my head. And then when that blends in, it gives me just a little more lift. Okay, so we're gonna do that a little bit further. You really wanna focus that right by the crown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then especially right near the front of my head. I like to really get these sections popping, especially cause like I still have these fake baby hair stuff that grew out, that just grew like crazy after I had Ezra. I want to get those a little more curled and out of the way. Yeah, yeah, volume, volume. So as you can see, it definitely lifted a lot more up around the top of my head. So next I'm going to pop a little bit more of that same spray I used earlier just to the ends of the hair because I really like having that beach wave texture, you know, like you just went to the ocean and you stepped out and it gives you these beautiful little crimpy curls. Just makes the ends a little bit more PC and sexy and natural looking. I'm all about that easy hair life, you know what I mean? 
I know a lot of people, especially if their curls are more curl resistant, you can definitely top it off with some hairspray, but I actually really love just kind of letting it loosen up over time. And my hair, since it does have a bit of texture already, these will stay for like a good day and a half, at least until the next time I shower. So yeah, that is about it. That's how I get these beautiful natural beachy curls. If you guys do want a really super amazing deal, I have a 20% off coupon code that I'm going to leave in the info box down below. And that is about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you want to see me do more hair tutorials, let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up and smash that like button if you're all about that beachy hair life. Subscribe if you want to see more of our videos, and I will check you out in the next one. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> helicopters. Make sure you have helicopters flying overhead mm -hmm. to give that ambiance to your curls.